In this video, I'm doing an unboxing of the ANET AA 3D printer and building the frame from scratch. And over the next couple of videos, I'm installing the electronics, the cables, everything that's needed and also flashing the firmware to get better print results. And so come and join me on that journey. Hello, my name is Daniel, welcome to the Crosslink channel. On this channel I'm doing regular videos about 3D printing, gadget reviews and more. And this video is about unboxing of the ANET A8 3D printer and building the frame. So let's start with the unboxing. Okay, so we got the package here. Let's open it up and see what's inside. A quick unboxing, very brief. You might have seen this before, so I'm not getting too much into that. Um, let's do a quick unboxing of all the parts and let's start building the frame. Let's get it. So let's check out if everything's there. So we have the main board, we have the display and we have the frame parts. And what we're going to do now is because I don't like, and some people take take these parts as they are, they don't remove the stickers. Actually, there's stickers on every, every part of the frame. And if you remove the sticker, as you have might have seen in my uh, other videos about my existing ANET printer, it's actually a qu quite cool looking. It's a black glossy surface underneath all these stickers. So what I'm going to do right now is remove all the stickers and then um, starting with the frame build. So, So I'm done with the first unboxing part uh, and removing all the stickers. Uh, and so now you can see, um, actually that makes sense because it's really a nice, glossy, uh, shiny surface. And I like that look much, much better than this yeah, paper stickers. And some people don't want to do this. They just keep the stickers on because probably they are afraid of scratching the surface. I mean, it's, it's a little bit sensitive, but it's, it's looking much better in black. That's my opinion, of course. And yeah, let's move on with the next part, which is um, finding all the parts uh, that we need for the frame, because there's other parts that we don't need for the frame. Um, and so we're going to look into the manual. The manual you can find on the memory stick that comes with the printer. So let's have a look in the manual what parts we need. Then I'm gonna line up all the parts here and then we're gonna start building the frame. Okay, let's start building a frame. Um, the build instructions on the SD card um, actually are quite accurate and quite good. Um, when I built my first ANET printer, I had no issues so far. Um, to cover all this, I'm using three cameras, so with this little uh, additional camera, I'm trying to get you some close-ups um, of specific parts that I want to highlight. And um, here on the screen, you can see part of the instructions. So we're going to start now with building the, the, the base frame, which holds all the other parts. And then I'm going to fast forward to the end of the uh, frame build. The frame build will also cover some of the motors some electronic parts will be mounted but only a few ones and at the end of the frame build i'm gonna wrap up and yeah tell you what's next so let's start building the frame um first thing i want to point out is that the mounting of the frame takes mostly uh, these kind of screws so they are m3 screws and m3 nuts um, what i want to point out about these these little nuts is they are very tiny, hope you can see them. So these nuts are very tiny and sometimes um, it might happen that the screw doesn't really go into a nut very well. So the point is if it's stuck, if it feels stuck, don't worry about it. Um, there's enough spare um, nuts in the, in the package. So just throw away 
any knot that doesn't work. Just don't try to force it because that is probably the worst thing you can do. Uh, it might get stuck forever and you might not be able to unscrew it. Go to your local hardware store and get some new ones for a few cents. So that I think that is the best recommendation I can give you. So on the other hand, all the mounting uh, works, um, most of the time it works the same way. When you stick, um, want to mount two parts together, you can see that this part, uh, for example, is where the, the nuts go. And there is a little slot here and here. And you just push the, the nut into the slot like this. And then you combine this part with the counterpart and then screw through into the nut. And you just need to make sure whether you hold it like this or not, use two fingers to make sure that the nut doesn't fall out of the slot because that is not, I mean, that doesn't hold up on its, on its own. So you need to fix it somehow with your fingers. You can also use some tape if you, um, if you encounter, yeah, this many times. I mean, this, this happened to me many times, so the nuts just fall out and then I'm, I was too lazy to hold it all the time. So I just put some tape over here, uh, over both sides and then screw it together. That, is, that works. So that's just a recommendation to make your life a little bit easier. And so I'm going to start as an instructions um, by mounting the first four parts together. So we'll start with um, the bottom part, which is this one. And it's inserted like this. So the parts come together like this. So just stick them into each other and push through one nut. Take a screw and screw it tightly. And just a piece of advice, um, I, I don't tighten up the screws too much for now. I will do this in the end because in the end I will anyway have to fix the alignment of all parts. For example, this part here, if this is not in, in a 90 degree angle in the end, so if there's any misalignment here, um, your prints might come out misaligned as well. And so I'm going to explain that to you a little bit later again. So we will check out how to fix everything into a position where it's really perfectly angled. Um, so let's start quickly, uh, quickly mount this, this frame. And I'm going to do this in a fast forward way now. And I want to make sure that you see how this comes together. So let's take a close look here. Um, so here you can see, hopefully, how the, the screws going through the nuts and then uh, how these two parts are held together. And here you can see one problem with the frame that I had also with the first version of the ANET. These parts are not perfectly angled so you can really bend this around. So that was a few steps uh, to build the first parts of the frame together. Um, we'll fast forward now to the end of the of the frame build basically, where we have no electronics yet, um, just one motor, and then we'll continue from there on. Okay, so this is prepared now. Um, in terms of mounting this, we'll take this uh, the end part here and stick through the rod. Same for this side here. So what we now need to, need to make sure is um, that all these distances are equal. So. The distance of this part to the frame on this side is the same distance as this distance here on the other side. So we need to measure out um, the distances and then make sure that everything is angled because it's, it's not only about the distance but it's also about the frame could be, yeah. If you tighten up these screws, uh, these, these uh, nuts, and you forget, forget about the angle of the frame, you might be tightened up very 
very hard and then the, the frame might bend and might be not in a 90 degree angle anymore. So we need to make sure that this all is aligned uh, perfectly because otherwise the, the prints might get a little bit off. So that's it. Okay, so now I've put together the frame and yeah, loosely aligned the rods here. So how do we get this perfectly aligned? So there's uh, several ways to do that. Um, my preferred way today, today is to use this cutting mat um, because the cutting mat has um, yeah, lines which are perfectly well suited for lining the printer parts to it. And so if I look down from, from above um, and align the printer, for example, on the on this on the right hand side here to this to this edge here, you can see it. So I'm aligning this to the to the cutting mat, and then I'm checking whether everything is um, in a 90 degree angle. So if parts are aligned well, and then I can also take this this part here, the the part where the the belt te tensioner is mounted, and align it with one of the lines here. And just make sure that the distance um, on both sides here is equal. We need to um, mount the sliding rods for the heat pad now and then slide on two of these uh, linear bearings to each rod. So we're mounting, what we're doing is we're mounting these two backup plates on one end uh, of the frame to block the, the rods from actually uh, yeah, coming out. And then we are adjusting the distance here, distance of the, the frame against the rod until the rods are really yeah, flat with the surface on the other end. That looks fine. Okay, that's it about mounting the ANET frame. In the next video, I'm going to cover mounting the heat bed and the preparation work for that. Also, the next video will cover mounting the motors and also the electronics. So keep uh, watching my channel. Please consider subscribing and use the bell to get notified when I post my next video. Join me next week for another part of the series. Have a good week. Bye bye.